why is it that the narcissists, no matter how nice they have been to you at the beginning, how much they have promised you, they can never be happy with what they have got, even though you have given them absolutely everything. Hello and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really well. In this video, I want to talk about why the narcissist is never happy with you. Like, you believe at the beginning of the relationship that this is euphoria and you've got the most amazing, amazing relationship. However, there's always something, isn't there? There's just always something. So I really just want to talk about this in the video. And I think also for those of you who are not with the narcissist anymore and you see them with new supply, please believe, please believe that actually they are not happy with someone else and that everything was your fault. No, that's not the case because actually they're not happy with anybody. And I'm going to explain this in the video. So if we identify toxic people, it will help us to understand not to invest emotionally in that person. It will also give you a deeper explanation on how to maneuver your way forward. Narcissists, no matter who they are with, are never happy. And I'm gonna look at the certain behaviors that they all do, basically. And I'm gonna look at this in the video and kind of unpack it for you. All right, so the first thing is what they do is very early on in the relationship, they'll tell you that they love you, all right? That they love you so much and that they have never met anybody like you. So this I love you is used as a form of manipulation. It means something entirely different to a narcissist than it does to a normal person. They're three little words which can be thrown around as an apology or as a method of control whether you catch them lying to you, betraying you, or causing you upset, okay, they will tell you that they love you as a way of sticking a plaster over the wounds, but never dealing with the actual issue. So when they're saying I love you, it doesn't mean I love you. It means that they are wanting to get something from you. It's a transactional relationship, all right? Because you've got to remember, if somebody cannot be their true authentic selves, how can they truly feel all of these emotions? How can they truly feel all of these things when they don't even know who they are themselves? So this is something that you've got to remember that they are never happy because they're not happy within them themselves. You've got to look out for also the way that a toxic person communicates to you. Right, if they're using really strong, powerful words such as I love you, then there is another agenda behind that because you don't, I, it's just the way that they say it, it's the, in the context that it's used. Why are you using such strong words, right? Is there a manipulation that's going on? Why is it that they need to use such profound, strong words when actually, you know, you, it can, other words can be used in, in place of those? Or maybe you could describe or maybe you could explain your emotions in a different way. But the narcissist will communicate this in such a way that is too intense. That's how I would say, I think it, it, yeah, it's too intense. And another thing that you've got to look out for is that their behavior will not match what they're saying to you. And this is a huge predictor of that a person values and thoughts are not aligned. So I, you need to really pay attention to this. The other thing that they're never happy about is that nothing is ever good enough. It doesn't matter if you are the most loving, most amazing, generous person. It will just never be good enough for the narcissist. You can give them affection. You can give them your kindness, your compassion, your empathy, and they will probably dismiss it or say that you're overbearing. And if you hold back because you feel like you're being a bit too much, then they'll say that you never show them love. So you kind of never know where the middle ground is. So they're always, always something, it's always your fault, isn't it? 
it's always blamed on you. So here I would say is look out for somebody's attention and values. How do they make you feel? How do they behave around you? Is the depth of their intention that they show you? Meaning, does it have any depth? Using these questions to determine what value the other person brings to your connection is a good indication whether they are toxic or not. The other thing is you end up, you know like the term walking on eggshells. This becomes a way of life, all right? So walking on eggshells is you just don't know where you stand because one thing is one, one day it's this, then the next moment it's that. And you never know when you're gonna set them off on any given day. So their mood is very unstable. You just don't know where you stand. You don't know whether they're gonna be all right, whether they're, whether they're gonna be bad or what's going on. And so you very quickly learn to think about every single thing that you say or do before you, before you do it. And anything can be perceived as a threat to the narcissist. Anything you say may be taken as an insult, causing them to basically lash out and verbally attack you. And then you think to yourself, okay, well, I give you everything. I've done everything for you. Number one, it's never good enough. Number two, I just don't know how to, how to do this, like what to do. And this is why what I'm saying is that the narcissist will never be happy. You see this instability of mood, this inability to be able to regulate their emotions. This is what this is. This is what this disorder is about. It's because they can't or they don't know how to conduct themselves with any given situation. They perceive situations and emotions in very differently to the way that we do. So that's why they are very different. They are never able to be their true authentic selves and, and actually behave in a way that is authentically themselves if they're all over the place. And so, that is a huge predictor. Again, ask yourself whether there is any point in this connection. This person is seriously altering the way that you behave because it causes you to feel that you are not good enough. And so, and so you see, this is what I'm saying. It, they're gonna do this to everybody, not just you, but to everybody. The other thing I would say is they will never take responsibility for their own actions because if you're going to take responsibility, okay, you're going to really understand what has happened, you're going to take on and understand that maybe it's your fault, that maybe something that you have done has upset the other person, that they don't care. They don't care that that has happened because they have managed to get away with it. They don't care that they are affecting you or hurting you. Remember, they don't see things the way that you do. So they're not gonna put attention. They don't want to, they don't care that they have harmed you or pushed them or pushed somebody else away. They see that they're getting their needs met and that's all that matters. That's what they care about. Nothing will be their fault. And the more that you try to force them to take responsibility, the more they will come up with more excuses and invent situations or maybe even apologize to you. But none of this actually means anything. And they will also always blame you. You see, this leads on to the next bit. Lying is second nature to the narcissist, all right? Mostly because they don't have any empathy, they don't want to understand, and guilt makes it very easy for them to deceive people. So lying to them, they want you to believe a role that they are playing, all right? They want you to know that actually they are right and you are wrong. So when you're lying constantly, you don't know what's going on. You don't really are, you're not really connected to yourself. So you get lost between reality and fantasy. Half of the time, they actually believe the fantasy. They don't see it for what it actually is. And you see, that's the issue here. They lie to you because they believe that lie and they want you to believe that lie. It is a lie, it's not true, it's not what's happened. So that's why they can never truly be happy. So you see, through these instances, okay, the narcissist can never be happy because they are never truly themselves. And they live between this thin line of reality and fantasy, which is what you see in the gaslighting. Okay, because in the gaslighting, they are trying to sell you that lie, but they don't believe 
it themselves, but they're trying to sell it to you because that lie sounds so much better than actually telling you the truth. They are never going to be happy because they are not their own authentic selves. They are not really embodied themselves. So this is why it's very easy for them to lie, silent treatment, cause you pain, disrespect you, because they do that to themselves as well. The way that they treat you is the way that they treat themselves, but they try to mask it with a solution. So my friends, I really hope that this video helps you to understand why the narcissist is never happy with anybody, not even themselves, but they try to pretend that they are. If you would like to maybe join a supportive community, join the journal club, all the details on the description box below. And if you are someone who would like to talk this through with someone who understands and who has worked in this for many years, I do do one-to-one -one consultations. Please see the description box below. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.